Good morning. Thank you for being with us on Austin's Morning News. Let's talk about those results from Indiana and North Carolina and where things go from here. Let's go downtown. Keith, you're on KLBJ at 712. Good morning, Keith. It is obvious to anybody with any amount of sense to see that as far as the Clintons are concerned, they could care less about the party. They're willing to do whatever is necessary for them to win. And it's like, I thought we were all on the same team. You know, when she makes those speeches about the party's going to come together and that no matter who wins the nomination, they're going to mm-hmm. support them. She's not showing that with the things that There's she There's no such thing as team in that. John McCain allegedly voted for, for somebody else besides Georgia. He voted for Al Gore in 2000. <laughs> That's that's a team. There's no such thing. They're out for the individual, Keith. You can, you know, there's no Bill, such man. thing. And that's why I wish America would look at what Barack Obama is saying about change. It's like we're forgetting about it. If we keep doing the same thing, we can expect the same results. Let's let someone new have an opportunity to see if we can actually get change. You know, he hasn't been tainted by years and years in Washington so far. So we have an opportunity now today to actually but, see. A but, no, he's but, just been but, tainted but, by years wait, and wait, years wait. in Chicago. You know, it's almost going to take a dictator to do it now. You know, look look at all the self-serving entities in Washington, whether they be Republican or Democrat. All right, uh, Keith, thanks very much, sir. Have a good day. We go to Round Rock with Amin at 714 on KLBJ. How are you, Amin? I'm doing fine. Good morning, guys. Good morning. i got two quick points, and then I'll hang around if you guys want me to explain them. First of all, uh, Barack Obama took her best shot. I mean, right, 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 all you heard about. And then all of, he's not electable, and she can beat McCain, and he can't when both numbers that uh, both of them are getting is showing that uh, either one of them can beat McCain. Keith, uh, l- let, me, let, me, let me say something, uh, I mean, I'll let you continue, but okay. on your first point, I think she really made a huge blunder by injecting that gas tax idea into the campaign. It took all of the focus off of right and put it on that gas tax idea, and it was a savior for Obama. He came out looking good in that debate. Well, see, this is the thing. The Clintons are known liars. People forget that. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're kidding me. Oh, I mean. No, 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 no. Be for real. Be for real. Clinton, Clinton looked in our face. Bill Clinton, who everybody's making out to be a hero now, Bill Clinton looked in our face and told us, I did not have sex with that woman. Lala. That is what the Republicans are going to use. That's why they want Hillary to win, because all of this stuff, Whitewater. Republicans haven't forgotten about Whitewater. No. They, they saying they want Clinton, to, that Clinton has a better chance, and they know they're not even talking out the, the right side of their mouth. Secondly, history does not go along with McCain. First of all, if you go back to all the elections, whenever an incumbent or his or that's running for office or an incumbent that's going out of office has had 70% disapproval rating, his party does not win the White House. I'm talking about Carter. He had 70% disapproval rating when he ran against Bush, and Bush clobbered him. Yeah, you're right, Amin. Thank you. That's usually accompanied by a struggling or more abound economy, Yep. and we have a struggling economy right now. That makes it a very, very steep climb yeah. for John McCain. It oh, is absolutely. a steep climb it's for John very... McCain, but as the more this Democratic primary goes on, it's better for John McCain. 